Hi there, this is the Puzzle Guy and today I will show you how to solve Equa Puzzle by Hanayama. Difficulty level of this puzzle is 6, so it's one of the most difficult Hanayama puzzles. And as always, the goal of this puzzle is to take it apart and to assemble it again. Let's open the box. Inside you can find information about other Hanayama puzzles, description and puzzle itself. As always, there is no solution included, so you have to find how to solve it by yourself. As you can see, this puzzle is made out of metal. It's a black color, but under the lights it looks like silver or shiny one. Actually, the uh, metal is the same as in quartet puzzle. Uh, if you want to see it, I will put a link here. And uh, not only uh, material is the same as in quartet puzzle, but also the solution uh, process is a little bit uh, like in quartet puzzle. All the move, moves are supposed to be very precise, otherwise you can't solve it. And uh, as you can see, this puzzle is made uh, out of three parts, uh, I showed it in a box, two rings inside which uh, create this sphere uh, and this sphere represents planet and the outer part which represents surrounding uh, ring and this planet can be uh, only rotated inside of this uh, ring on its axis. If you like this puzzle, I will put a link in the description of this video where you can buy it. And if you want to see the solution of this puzzle, uh, you can keep watching the video. But if you don't want to spoil all the fun trying to solve this puzzle by yourself, stop watching now. As always, before uh, showing the solution, uh, we have to uh, take a closer look at each part. First uh, we will see at this uh, outer part. Uh, as you can see it consists of six edges. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, five of them are exactly the same and one of them is a little bit thinner and it's pretty difficult to find it and I think this is it. As you can see, maybe 15-20% thinner than two other parts. But on the other side, this edge is exactly the same as all other, though, so it's thin only on this part of this edge. And uh, next, what we have to find that uh, two rings which create the sphere have cut out on one part and uh, also on each sphere there is a small pin which uh, prevents it from spinning all the ways uh, so you can't you can spin it only on axis uh, which is made by these two pins and uh, one of the parts one of the rings has hanayama and echo sign and this ring will be uh, our key ring to solve this puzzle. Uh, first, what you have to do, if uh, uh, you found this uh, thin edge, and I already lost it, uh, this is it, uh, you have to put your puzzle in a way that the uh, Hanayama sign and the pin next to Hanayama sign sign will be in this triangle. So to do this we have to uh, move our sphere uh, to the, uh, this part. And uh, these pins prevent us from uh, moving our sphere, but uh, to move it all what you have to do is to combine cut out of one uh, ring with one of the edges and cut out of the other ring with one of the edges, edges 
and then just to disassemble them a little bit uh, move the pin on the other side of the edge and that's it you just made this move so the uh, next step what we have to do when the Hanayama sign is in this uh, triangle you have to disassemble these two rings like this so that the Hanayama uh, ring will be on the thin uh, edge the next move what you have to do is to rotate the second ring with the cut out up the cut out is supposed to be close to this edge and uh, now the pin is on our way uh, we have to put it on the uh, bottom triang uh, triangular to do this uh, you have to combine this edge and the cutout of unnamed piece and put the pin down the next move what you have to do is to uh, put uh, the uh, cut out of this ring uh, and this edge like this to, to, to do this to combine this cut out and this edge you have to put the Hanayama part like this as you can see there is a small cut out right here you have to combine it with the edge like this that's how it will be really easy to put the second ring on its position so the, the next move we have to put the Hanayama piece on the intersection of these edges like this and rotate it so the cutout that the cutout will be down there next move we have just to combine the cutout of Hanayama piece and the edge and just slide the Hanayama ring out and the next move is just to rotate it like this and take it out and now we have just to disassemble these two uh, rings to do this you have to combine them into sphere again and then just rotate one of the pieces and they're disassembled to assemble it again what you have to do is to combine these two rings in a sphere first it doesn't matter which uh, piece you take just combine them uh, then rotate and then di disassemble them again like this uh, the first what you have to do just take the outer part find the um, our intersection with thin uh, edge and put the ring no name ring on this thick edge like this and put it all the way down and rotate it so that the cutout will be on the top but make sure that the Hanayama piece stays on the right side of this edge now you can uh, put the Hanayama piece the cutout of Hanayama piece on the uh, thin edge and next what you have to do is to put the no named piece down rotate Hanayama part so that the cutout will be uh, on the top and then the last move what you have to do is uh, take the no name piece combine edge and cutout and push the pin of this piece up so that it appears in this triangular and then rotate no name piece so that you can combine it with Hanayama ring 
and that's probably it. That's how you solve this puzzle. It's assembled again. As you can see, yeah, it's it's in original state. I'm not a big fan of this uh, puzzle because you have to do these precise moves and it's pretty difficult to find solution when uh, all the moves are supposed to be so exact. But if you like it and you like my video, press like and subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell button so you got not notified every time I upload new video.